Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of BFE Outdoor TV. And on today's episode, we're going to do some hound talking. Oh, the business end of hounds. What, what is right for your kennel? What's what you're looking for? The traits that you want. And uh, I think we've come to the decision that Jade is not going to stay here much longer. I got her, I think I got a line of, a person lined up for her. And, uh, well, it's a relative of mine, so if I choose to, if he wants to breed her and I have something that I want to breed her to, you know, I'll, I'll have that option. But, uh, other than that, yeah, she's, I'm going to give her to him and, uh, she'll be a good pleasure dog. And that's what he likes to do. He likes to pleasure hunt. She just doesn't range out very far. Uh, sometimes her drive's not there the way that I like it to be. She's not a bad dog. I mean, y'all have seen her. She's treated a bunch of coons. It's just not exactly what I'm looking for. You know, uh, it sucks. You know, I like her. She, I really love her temperament. She's got a good handle. But, hey, that's part of the game. So, with that being said, I'm going to... I'll probably wait till after the first of the year. But, uh, start looking for something to fill that spot in the kennel. Probably another female. I like females. The only reason why, honestly, I have Goose right now is because of Braden. He wanted a male dog. So, uh, we got a male dog. But, uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed today's video. We've got some few clips of the last coon hunts we've been on. Actually, we've been on quite a few since I've dropped a video. It's been weird. The hunt has been real strange. Keep you up on that. Keep it real. Uh, we've been slicking a lot, man. Like, I'm some of them I'm not 100% sure were slicks. Others, I'm pretty sure they were slicks. And there was a few den trees that I felt like there was a coon inside the den, but you know how that goes. But a lot of them were slicks. So it's feed tracks, and Goose is a young hound, and you can see him, he'll... He'll strike out through there, get, you know, deep, get on the trail, and then he'll want a tree. I mean, he's not treeing, but he'll, you can hear him hit a tree, he'll locate, and then he'll push off, and about 100 yards later, 100 and a quarter or so, he'll hit another tree and locate it, and then it's just real slow going. And then finally, I, whenever he sits down in trees, it's usually a tree that's in multiple trees or uh, it's leaned over into another tree where the coon's, you know went 25 30 yards before it hit the ground again and he he could he didn't pick it back up he just sat down on that tree thought that's where it was we are swamped by acorns this year man i've never seen so many acorns you don't even walk on the ground in the hardwoods right now you're just walking on acorns and they're just now falling too so uh that's making it very difficult for this young dog to figure them out. We have looked at some, but like I said, some, a lot of them has been slick, so you'll see that in the videos. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. That's from Muddy. Toward the bottom of the hill. Toward the bottom of the hill. Jade, heal up. Oh, who was it? Didn't hop out some days like rabbit hunting? Yeah, we rabbit hunted here before. That's where we've seen them deer right out there. Yeah. Hey, settle. 
Sounds good, boy. Whew. Should have brought my jacket. Gunner, are you freezing? Yes, my boy. That's a good pup. Yes, it is. Good old dog. Good boy. That's a good boy. Hustle my baby! 